Welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're diving into the world of the red spotted and the right snail. The red spotted and the right snail is native to the coastal waters and river systems of eastern Africa, particularly around the Indian Ocean. These snails have adapted to various water conditions, thriving in both freshwater and brackish environments. Over time, they have become popular in the aquarium trade due to their attractive appearance and beneficial cleaning abilities. Red spotted and the right snails are small, typically reaching up to one inch in size. Their shells are adorned with distinctive red and orange spots, often set against a dark brown or black background, making them visually appealing additions to any aquarium. The shell's texture is smooth and its shape is oval and slightly flattened. These snails have a small operculum, a trapdoor-like structure that can close to protect themselves from predators in harsh conditions. Red spotted and the right snails thrive in aquariums that replicate their natural habitat with stable water perimeters. They prefer water temperatures between 72 and 78 degrees and a pH range of 7.5 to 8.5. It's essential to maintain good water quality as these snails are sensitive to high levels of ammonia and nitrites. They need a hard alkaline environment and to maintain their shells, so adding calcium supplements can be beneficial. Additionally, a secure lid on the aquarium is necessary when the right snails are known to escape from open tanks. These snails are excellent algae eaters feeding primarily on the biofilm and algae that naturally grow in aquariums. They help keep the tank clean by consuming green algae, diatoms, and even some types of blue-green algae. In the absence of sufficient natural algae, they can be fed blanched vegetables like zucchini, spinach, and lettuce, as well as algae wafers and sinking pellets designed for bottom dwellers. Red spotted and the right snails exhibit interesting behaviors such as constantly grazing on surface to feed on algae. They are known for their methodical movement, covering every inch of the tank in their search for food. One unique behavior is their ability to survive out of the water for extended periods, which helps them in the wild during tidal changes. This adaptability also explains their occasional attempts to escape from aquariums. Unlike some other snails, the right snails do not reproduce in fresh water. Their larvae require brackish water to develop preventing overpopulation in home aquariums. Red spotted and right snails are peaceful and can be housed with a variety of tank mates. They do well in other, with other non-aggressive species like tetras, guppies, and shrimp. They should not be kept with snail eating fish such as certain species of loaches and puffer fish. Their algae eating prowess makes them ideal companions in community tanks, helping to maintain a clean and balanced environment. And that's it for today. Thank you for subscribing. If not, please subscribe, like, and comment for more plant and animal profiles.